Welcome back. The Six Nations is kicking off next week and we're taking inspiration from some of the countries taking part to inspire our wine. It's just an excuse wine to drink. drink wine. Michelle yeah. Lawler from the Nude Wine Company joins us. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Any guys. excuse for you to come in and let us taste Absolutely. some wine. Thanks but for these me. are the countries who are taking part. Some of the countries are taking part yeah. in the Six Nations. Listen, We've we'll make the link four. somehow. Yeah, so. we'll do. Yeah. Unsurprisingly, first off, we're going to France. We're going to France and I have a, like probably France's most famous export, which is Sauvignon Blanc, if you mm -hmm. want to have a try of it. This is from Loire, the home of Sauvignon Blanc globally. This is, is Loire the home of Sauvignon Blanc? It is. Everyone thinks it's new Zealand, but it's actually Loire, and this is a lovely classic. Well, yeah, one. it started here, but then yeah. the New World. Sort of, oh, they took yeah, the, gra yeah. the grape cuttings, and it's just, isn't it gorgeous? Oh my god, it's that's 13 sharp. Euro. Oh, that is sharp. That is what oh. a Sauvignon and actually, should be. And the texture is really, really lovely. And that's, I think, the big difference between um, New Zealand and France is that it's a bit softer. That's 13 euro. Yeah, that's it's gorgeous. Only, I isn't thought it? I was going to say, I bet you that's really expensive. No. Oh wow, God, that's delicious. Now I'm going to see. I just automatically go for the Marlborough yeah. New World ones, but there's that in of, fairness um, is there's lovely. There's a lot of value to be found. You have to work hard to find the good ones, and I think that's probably the biggest part of any job as, as a wine buyer is to find good value under 15 euro. It's the hardest category. It's delicious. It's delicious. Sorry, 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 you know, sorry. That is just delicious. Um, now. So any, but that's Loire Sauvignon from France, um, and just yeah, easy drinking and worth the effort to. No, I tell it out. you, I'm going to take a picture of that because I'll be I'll be buying that because that is delicious. Have it on a case deal. <laughs> oh, fair play to you. Fair play to you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. the next one is um, it's Italian, and this fab one actually the label is the Italian flag. This is Sangiovese from uh, so it's the next wine there along. Oh, right, um, yeah. So Sangiovese is um, the grape that's in Chianti. This is done slightly further south from where Chianti is and so it's a bit softer, a bit riper, it's really lovely and easy to drink if you want. Sangiovese. You Sangiovese. Sorry, I'm not a red wine drinker anyway but I'm just saying like is, is that a popular sort of wine? Chianti is popular. Yeah, Chianti is very popular. Yeah, and the Chianti. way wines are labelled in Europe is after the place not after the grape. So okay. even though you've been drinking or if you've been drinking Chianti for years you might not have known you're actually drinking Sangiovese and no mm. oak. Yeah. Lovely. It's um, uh, vegan, oh, yeah. friendly, organically farmed. It's beautiful. It's a really, really gorgeous glass of wine. Beautiful. A 1680 for that one. And is that north or south? So that's if you, if you imagine Italy like a leg, you're kind of looking at the back of the knee, kind of halfy, halfy. Okay. Back of the knee. Back of the knee. Yeah, I have it there straight away. I had it. And where's Montepulciano? Uh, close to the back of the knee as well. Yeah, because the that, knee pit. That you'd does call remind it. me. That does remind They're me. They're actually that. from the same area. Are they? Yeah, They're beautiful. Very close. Yeah. If you like a multipuciano, yeah. you're yeah. going to love that. And do, do you know what it is? It's medium body. Soft. She's probably had it once. <laughs> <laughs> the only Listen, we move on to it. the next one, which is the one I'm most excited about. Le Ducal from Côte de Rhone. So that is um, southern or kind of like south central uh, France. So very close to where Chardonnay to Pap is if you're trying All to right, place yeah. it. Oh. And it, this is two Irish guys and one French guy who I think wants to be Irish. Um, <laughs> and mad rugby fan, so I couldn't not put it in. They have a fab and what's it called? Level. Is it Au Font? Au Font is the name of the cuvee. They make three different cuvees and this is their house one. Grapes are the same as Shad enough to pop, so Grenache and Syrah. What I love about this is the silky texture. See, I love that the way it's, it's uh, you can say it's French, it's au fond, yeah. or it's the two Irish guys, Paddy au fond. Paddy au fond. <laughs> there you go. It's, but it's, 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 um, they're, they're, they've been in the wine industry forever. They're total gents and um, delighted to be able to then put them in this kind of rugby selection. That's, um, um, but the texture is oh, lovely. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. It's that's quite much silky. softer, silkier this, than the other si one. For sure. And this one definitely with a little bit of food, the steak that Alberto cooked earlier. Oh, and look at, okay. and you have some gorgeous bit yeah, urban, urban, urban kitchen, kitchen in so Nace. In Nace. And uh, so I said, oh, I'm doing wine, you know, for the rugby. So let me and do like, you a look party at that. platter. Party platter, if you're fabulous. Having folks it looks... over to watch oh, the game. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Actually, isn't that a great idea? Yeah. Just get a party platter and a few bottles of wine, watch the watch. One the of rugby. everything in the audience. Yeah. So those are definitely, so if you're saying what Alberto was making earlier on, that kind of steak, which was yeah. just so beautiful, because it does taste completely different totally to the different. Italian. It's to do with, so totally different grapes, yeah. totally different heat. Actually, this is much Which hotter. Which do you prefer? Yeah. But there's a bit of oak in this one. I prefer and that the, one. I prefer the old and font it's, one. And, and I think the silky texture is fabulous. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah. It's, and it's funny because I, like a fool, left that in the car overnight. So it came out at six degrees. <laughs> So it was slightly tall. <laughs> but it's funny, it warmed up beautifully to okay. the temperature in the studio. Yeah, well, it's like, lovely. Is, is there a thing that you shouldn't ne never serve red wine cool? Oh, look, this one, the first one you could serve cold because the tannins are lighter. What happens is if you put a red wine in the fridge, 
um, the flavours get muted yeah. and the tannins right. are really aggressive. So this one, it's warmed up beautifully and you can see me in the taste. Okay. Now, you're very excited about this sparkling <laughs> yeah, wine. Yeah, so this is from Sussex and I meant to actually look it's at an a map. English one. An English wine to see where Sussex was. Definitely south of London. Yeah. Down, south, yeah. Yeah. down south, down, down south. south. Um, so these are the grapes that you would normally get in a bottle of champagne, made in the champagne method and it's vintage. But it mm. can't be called champagne because it's, not, it's not grown made in the in champagne. champagne region. And I think the most important thing to remember about this one is that it's 2018 vintage. Do you know the way if you go and you buy a bottle of champagne and it says non-vintage or NV yeah. on the label? That's because it's a blend of a few different years to make a house style. Oh. If you buy a bottle of one of the bigger champagnes, every bottle you taste for the last 15 years will always taste the same. Only in an exceptional vintage will you produce wines only from that year and bottle them only from that year. Okay. So if you were going to get a vintage champagne, say it'd be 80 or 90 euro. Yeah. This is a vintage one. So it's a little bit, and for me, it's, it's quite dry. Lovely and I don't fruity. think that tastes like champagne at all. Do you not? No. Yeah. I mean, there's a, an element that it's, it's warmer. Or sorry, I it's like colder. it. Yeah, I think it's fab. I like it's it. Great it's great crack. Yeah. Yeah. Crack. And it's funny, though, for years people have been trying to sell English, English sparkling wines, and I think now they've come to the fore. So it's in Richard Osman's latest book. I'm like, why is he still talking about the English uh, Michelle sparkling Michelle from wine? the Nude Wine Company, thank you so thank much. Thank you for having me. You can find all of these, of course, in the Nude Wine Company. Michelle Lawler, thank you thank so Tommy. much. Tommy, you enjoying your red? Oh, I'm loving this. Fair play to the Irish lads, of course, and their red. It is very tasty.